Uh, well, I am from the Anti-Violence Against Women and Children Division. The division first saw its inception right after the passage of the law, na 7610, the Anti-Child Abuse uh, Law. Uh, initially, the first name of Bau City is the Anti-Child Abuse Discrimination Exploitation Division. Uh, and then it was later on renamed as Violence Against Women and Children Division. And way back 2012, it, uh, it was renamed again into another name, uh, Anti-Violence Against Women and Children Division. Uh, we usually investigate uh, violations uh, committed against women and children, particularly in provisions of RA 9262, 7610 um, violations of uh, laws uh, under the revised penal code and, and other special laws. Yes, we are from the National Bureau of Investigation. And, uh, and we usually uh, conduct rescue operations, serve uh, warrants of arrest, and then and serve also um, uh, uh, writ of habeas corpus and when we are requested by DSWD or DOLE to conduct rescue operations, we usually uh, assist them. And then sometimes when we are requested by complainants to assist in the rescue of uh, minor women or children eloping with their boyfriends, we likewise assist uh, the complainants in getting back their minor children. Uh, usually po ang, uh, our usual uh, cases are violations of RA 9262, women who complain on, complain on their husbands, uh, usually uh, abuses committed against them, economic abuse for economic abuse, psychological abuse, and sexual abuse, and also uh, violations of uh, 7610 and normally ang profile ng the normal profile ng mga bata is yung ano uh, parang usually from all walks of life parang hindi siya typecasted into someone who is poor or someone who is in the middle income group from all forms of life and all walks of life we have complainants Yes, we have several one-stop shops. Uh, I think uh, five uh, women, uh, women and children friendly investigation studio, uh, and then I uh, five uh, one-stop shops, and then thirteen uh, women and child friendly investigation studios. You uh, one-stop shop is the ideal setup where. Uh, you can find under one roof yung investigator, um, medical legal officer, um, a psychiatrist, and a uh, social worker. So that's the ideal setup na you find under one roof. Yung, ano po, uh, yung Women and Child Friendly Investigation Studio, normally it's not complete. We have to refer the victim, the victim from other agencies performing the same function that we basically need for assessing the victim. Like yung, uh, if the particular one-stop, uh, the child friend investigation studio has no medical, medical legal officer, we would be referring the child to the nearest hospital. Or if there, the facility has no social worker or uh, let's say a neuropsychiatrist, we refer the child or the victim to the nearest uh, agency performing such functions. So it's more on coordinating with them. Ang um, uh, suggest ko po is, uh, ano, uh, we should be proactive right from the grassroots level. Kasi doon nagsisimula usually ang mga abuses when someone is not well informed of his or her rights or the rights of her or his children. And then, sa school then, siguro, we should be proactive in disseminating information that there are laws protecting not only women, but likewise the children 
in every stage sa life ng bata. And then, until he or she reaches the age of majority, uh, we should not treat them as our property. Children basically have rights because they are human, and these rights should be protected not only by the government, but by the family, because the family is the child's immediate uh, place where she lives and where the child normally grows. And the child should be uh, educated, notwithstanding the issue on poverty, because we have public schools where the child can usually go. And then if the child is, let's say, not so uh, intelligent, there are still other ways to uh, have scholarship. Like if you, are, if you find your child athletic, you can, the child can have... Uh, scholarship on being an athlete instead of yung mentally ano na ano na uh, mentally na uh, oh, oh yung ganun parang ganun po yung if you find your child not so intelligent find other skills for the child so hindi po siya maliligaw ng landas or the child would not go or have a wayward life actually we have uh, so many beautiful laws uh, the problem is the uh, way we are enforcing them. And sometimes people are not aware that there are laws existing to protect the children. So there has to be a wide, through, I think, uh, lahat naman po may access sa internet. And then, and every, ano, uh, yung technology natin, I think uh, we can make use of that uh, to... Uh, no, uh, improve the lives of our children.